Good evening, train friends. Just thought I'd give you a little quick update on what I'm going to be working on this weekend. I purchased a pre, <clears throat> excuse me a prefabricated prefabri Fremo module. Now the my intent is not to make a Fremo module to participate in a Fremo group. I wanted to use it as a basis as a uh, practice, if you will, by building a module with a uh, double track main line going through with part of it going off with a siding for a cement uh, facility. And the reason I want to do it is I want to work on uh, ballasting, uh, uh, build, structure building, weathering. So I want to, I don't want to have this elaborate game plan for a layout. I want to start with a one module and make it look really nice. Anyway, let me turn around, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, see my model railroader latest. So here is the bottom of of the um, of the module. And basically, as you can see, it's all laser cut. It's very well done. Apparently, the wood that uh, was used uh, for this um, for this module you you get from Russia. And so the manufacturer's like, I can't really do it anymore because I can't get this wood because of all the political junk going on. And it really maintains its stability. As you can see, here's the side braces and also uh, the legs. Um, and then they give you hardware. He gives you hardware, a, uh, a bottom cover. I'm sorry, a cover so you can place... Uh, your foam in or however you want to do your layout. And they also give you this backdrop piece, which I don't really need. Uh, maybe I will. I don't know. But the really cool thing is this is a depressed center module. You can either get the full flat top module or have it uh, as a depressed center. And so what that means is you can put in some foam and give it some topography so maybe you have the uh, uh, the main line running through it. You can also have uh, uh, the ground kind of bleeding away, edging away from uh, from the main line. Uh, again, topography is actually you know obviously more realistic. And again, I'll link in the uh, link in the description below. I don't think he's going to be making any more of these. Unfortunately, it's um, you know some uh, it's a different season in his life, and uh, so. I'm uh, very fortunate and blessed to be able to get, uh, I think, maybe one of his last modules. But, who knows, he might uh, have some for more for sale. So that's what I'm going to be working on this weekend. And uh, I did a lot of preparatory work as well. I, uh, I uh, organized my garage, so there's more. I uh, bought a new tool chest with a workbench on top. I also have another bench that I'm going to use as a workbench. So again, there's, you know, there's a lot of preparatory work that's involved. And I think one of the things that helps any modeler is if you have the, a good space to work in that's not cluttered, nice, that's not cramped. So I think it's like, a, I don't know, maybe a feng shui kind of a thing. But that's all I have for tonight. Hope everybody has a great rest of the week. And I'll be posting some video of the module build uh, this weekend. So enjoy again. Have a great week. Bye.